everybody, I'm Steph Hodge with Board Game Geek here with Ben from Floodgate Games. And today we get to look at the very exciting new expansion, Sagrada Life. <laughs> <laughs> How's it going, Ben? It is very good. I'm I'm doing very well. It's uh it's been a blast so far. Even though we don't get together and get to get together in person, uh still having a really great time. So Yes. So I know a lot of fans of Sagrada out there, including myself, I was super excited to finally get to play life. Um, so please tell us a little bit about how the inspiration came for this and, you know, what, what's everything. I just want to know it all. <laughs> I'll, I'll tell you as much as I can. So this is Sagrada Life. This is the second in a series of what we're calling the Great Facades expansions. Last year, we released Sagrada Passion. That introduced three new modules that you can mix and match with uh, your Sagrada game. And this one does the same thing. Three new modules here. Um, first up, the Toil Public, obje uh, public Objectives. These are real challenging new public objectives. Uh, we've got more info on these, but they do all sorts of cool things like this one. You'll score points for each of the dice in your window that match one from the round track. One of my favorite things is that you're going to score points for not drafting a die. Um, this one, you score points for each die that's an exact match to another one in your board. And uh, we've got other really challenging ones like the brightest row, where you're going to sum up the lowest total value of one of your rows, and you'll get points for each of the pips on there. So lots of new options to play with for the new objectives. We've also, next up, got the masterwork board. This is a new board that you're going to be able to draft uh, dice from. We made these cool custom orange dice that we call masterwork dice. Most of the faces on these dice have two arrows on them. And when you draft and place one of these in your window, you're going to now have a new restriction. Each of the dice that this die points to need to either match by color or by number. If they do, you're going to gain five victory points. And if you don't, this die is going to count against you and you'll lose a couple victory points. The way you get these is on your turn, you'll pull one of the dice from the draft pool like you normally would. But instead of putting that in your window, you're going to use it to pay the cost that's above one of the uh, masterwork dice that you want to pull. So in this case, you'll pay either a six of any color or any number of a red, and you'll get to pull that die right there, and so on for the different uh, four restrictions that you can add to your board. These also do come with a little bit of a bonus of some favor tokens to help you along the way. These two at the end, they're a little bit special from the others, where we've got two faces on here that say that all four of the adjacent dice either need to be different colors or different numbers. So that one's a little bit easier so that they uh, have a little bit of a difference in how you draft them. And this works at all the player counts too, um, up through five and six if you have the five and six player expansion. Uh, what happens here is uh, in the three and four player, or excuse me, <clears throat> two through four, four player game, as soon as you draft one of these, it doesn't refill. And that's in the two and three player game. In the four, five, and six player game, these do refill once, but you only have the uh, second slot available. A lot of fun with the new restrictions that these add. Uh, a really interesting challenge. These can be placed over and any number points. dice, so they can kind of get you out of a, uh, a, a pinch, but they do still count as orange. So you have to be conscious of that as you're caring about the different objectives and uh, whatever else is in your game setup. The third module that we have here is the apprentice module. A whole new deck of cards called Apprentice Cards and uh, new window patterns. They each have this uh, iron cross symbol here on there. And when you're playing with one of these, as soon as you place a die onto one of those symbols, you're going to be able to draw the top two cards from this deck and pick one of them to add to your hand of Apprentice Cards. These are one-off abilities or sometimes persistent abilities that let you do tricky things like Oh, this one uh, makes it so that all of your favor tokens are worth two victory points, or all of the empty spaces in your board are worth zero, and so on. A lot of options here, and while you can draw from uh, the top two and pick one, you can also instead pick the top one from the discard pile. So if someone used one and that, that'll get you out of a bind, you can grab that one instead. Because these are pretty powerful cards, each of these new window pattern cards uh, are worth one fewer favor token than they normally would be based on the difficulty of the window. So you got to keep an eye out for that as well. So a lot of cool new stuff packed into this uh, small box. Um, it's definitely like an interesting set of twists on how the game works and uh, 
all of the different expansions components are mixed and matchable and it does play up to that six player count too. No, it's really good. Um, I noticed when I played that the window cards only were from the base, mimicked the base game. Are you going to do more window cards, including that? Yeah, we have, a plan, we have a plan to make more. We, we noticed that players were uh, enjoying the window cards that were in the base game and, and saying, oh, I played this one. I really like that one. So we wanted to stick with them and the names are starting to resonate with people and all that. So we wanted to add the apprentice capabilities to the existing window cards, but we definitely have plans to print more and more of these. That'll be new restrictions, yeah. uh, new puzzles to play around in the future. Yeah, no, I mean, I love the apprentice cards. There are a lot, as you said, and they really give you an added goal. And I mean, not like you need more goals, but you do. I mean, all these <laughs> added goals and puzzles to solve is just like my jam. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And one of my favorite things is just how tunable the experience is to you can start to slowly introduce one or new com uh, one or more of the new components, but you can do that to whatever your group is comfortable with. So you definitely don't have to slam uh, everything in at once, but if you've got a lot of experience and you're looking for a big challenge, you can play the kitchen sink mod where you just throw everything at it. I do, I do, I do. With the passion <laughs> and extra, you know, extra objectives and just everything. <laughs> yeah, your whole board's just geared out with all the, all the fixings. I love it. It means for a very high score, but also missing out on some opportunities as well. <laughs> yeah, totally, totally. Um, so uh, uh, when can you get this? How can you get this? Everybody wants it. <laughs> we're doing pre-orders in the U.S. right now, and we'll have it available worldwide at retail probably in September of this year. Excellent. Um, so pre-order that. Uh, let's see if there's any other questions. Are well, the I should say the pre-orders are available directly from us, uh, floodgate.games. And then again, we'll be in all your uh, your friendly local gaming store worldwide later this year. Excellent. And there's a quick question from the chat, just how the apprentice windows work. Um, I think you, you can either choose to use them or not. So if you're using them, you shuffle them up and deal one, deal two to everybody so they can choose, right? So everybody you will use it. the apprentice if possible. Yes. So during game setup, if you're choosing to play with the apprentice module, you will need to play with the apprentice windows. These these go hand in hand and aren't able to be separated from each other. But everybody does choose from the apprentice window, uh, window patterns. So you do need to be sure that you're playing with both. Uh, but everybody does have an equal opportunity to uh, have a chance to get to at least two of these cards. All right. Uh, uh, we got a question on price. What is the um, M MSRP for the Sagrada Life? Oh, 20. This one's, uh, yeah, 1995 for the Sagrada Life expansion. Same as the Passion expansion Excellent. as well. Yeah. So if you're a fan of Sagrada, check out Passion and Life and the Great Facades uh, trio, which we get we get another one coming up, I guess. So that's exciting for me. <laughs> True. I'm gonna I'm gonna save that um, for another uh, another conversation. Though. Another day. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. Um, so take a take a look for that coming in September. Uh, ben, you have been amazing and always fun to talk to Floodgate Games, seeing what's up. So uh, thank you for your time. <laughs> yeah, thank you so much. I really appreciate it.